In today's video, we're all gonna be talking about creating a bigger coil in your backswing for more speed. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. As mentioned, today's video is all gonna be about a coil, coil in your backswing to build up more power to unleash it in your downswing. And we're gonna be focusing with a driver, but this will be relevant with any golf club. So I'm gonna jump straight into a couple of exercises that I use with a lot of clients. Um, first of all, what I wanted to discuss was I see most people up and down the driving range practice areas with big full swings, but they're not actually creating powerful movements. So what I'm talking about here is creating a big coil in the backswing of you, you feel fully loaded, you feel that pull of the muscles there, ready to unleash the speed and the power into the golf ball, into impact. What we don't wanna do is waste that energy. We wanna really create it in the backswing, store it up so we can use it correctly in the downswing. So the first exercise is just simply using a TheraBand. You could just use a TheraTubing, anything that's stretchy. Uh, this one's quite a light resistance, but you'll see why I'm gonna be doing that with this full swing movement. So what I'd encourage you to do, if you've got access to something like this, and you know, there are a couple of quid online, you can find lots of things like that, but under your lead foot, and then just grip the golf club as best you can here. And what I want you to do is wind up, and you will feel with the aid of this resistance, a real pull into your backswing, you'll feel like it's every muscle working here. And I really like um, a drill, and I'll talk about that in a second, that I know um, was sort of made famous from Pete Cowan, who's a, a great golf coach on the European tour, doing a little bit less than he used to do. I mean, I guess he, he was doing seven days a week, 24 hours a day, so he's still doing a hell of a lot. Uh, the guy is extremely busy, coaches a lot of players on the PGA, on the, sorry, on the European Tour as well as the PGA Tour, uh, but mainly focusing on the European. And he really likes and, and, and talked about a, a, a drill called Spiral Staircase. And I'm going to be going on to that, where it's how we can store up this energy in the backswing. But effectively, it's feeling that we're moving from this left ankle to the right shin as a right-handed golfer, from this left knee to this right hip. So we're coiling as we're turning. We are not just simply lifting the golf club to the top. It's a spiral staircase. So we're going around and up, down and around. So we're trying to create this spiral effect. Where we're really feeling like we wind up better in our backswing and we're feeling this source of energy pulling us from the ground uh, upwards in the backswing so we can do the opposite on the downswing and actually unleash that speed and the power. And that's what this band really helps me achieve. So stand on it with your lead foot. That's where you're one closest to the target. Hold it as best you can and you'll really feel that pull all the way to the top of your backswing where you can really get that sensation of this pull in your back here and you'll feel that pressure hopefully load up into that trail foot. So that's my right foot in the backswing is where I want to feel that I'm creating the most push into the ground as I wind up into the backswing here. But I can really get that sensation of winding up and you can see a very short backswing but what feels extremely powerful. So the spiral staircase exercise, which is just great anywhere, anytime, would just be with your palms facing the floor, arms hanging down from your shoulders, and simply get that feeling that you're pushing down as you start to coil away from the target. So it's creating some pushing down force there, allowing our trail elbow just to flex downwards, and you'll see at the top of the backswing, I get my palms facing away from the target, back towards you, the camera there. And I'm really getting that same sensation of creating this pull across my chest and my hips and my abdomen here, coiling up better in the backswing that I can start to unleash that speed and power. So once you've done some of those exercises, I'd simply grab a golf club and put that into movement. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit one here, but I'll have a couple of quick practice swings. It's funny, as soon as you've done that band work, you can almost still feel it feels like I'm really winding up. And this is the end of a cold winter's day. So I really needed to get that wind up. Right. Let's give it a go. We're going for the green hit. So winding up in the backswing. 
to unleash that speed in the downswing. Oh, not a bad effort, just, just out slightly right of the green there. Right, let me try one more of these. That real slow wind up in the backswing so I can then unleash that speed, that power on the downswing. That felt great though, I really felt that wind up in my backswing ready to let it go. That looks on a good line. Oh yep, yeah, just at the back of the green there. This is a, a par four, but I've teed it up just short of the fairway actually. Um, rather than going back there onto the tee that we're trying to protect in the fairway. So just a good place to try and film a video and a bit of fun going for the green here on, uh, on our hole at Branston. This is a great par four. Don't normally get the opportunity to tee one up and go for the green, but just managed it. That felt fantastic getting that wind up in the back swing, that coiling movement. I know if you can do that, it's definitely going to help you generate more speed, more power next time you need that big long drive. If you did enjoy the content video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, do like the video, get in touch with any videos you'd like to see and for any online lessons I can help you with. But most importantly, make sure you hit the subscribe button to never miss a video again. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.